Hi, Facebook. I'm here having my afternoon coffee. Cheers to you. So I'm going to say something a little bit controversial. So I just want you to hold your, hold your chairs, okay? Some people are treating social media like this magic fix, right? Like it's some kind of, has some kind of special power for all your communication problems. And so here's my controversial st statement. Stop tripping, treating social media, stop treating social media like makeup sex in a bad marriage. Stop treating social media like makeup sex. It's not meant to fix the communication problems that you have on your website with your customers, with your internal team, or with a bad product, right? So I'm a social media manager. I've been doing this for 10 years in several industries, products, services, um, any kind of real estate, um, travel, WordPress products, WordPress services, um, automotive, promotional products. I've, I've, I've done it. Construction, I've done it. I'm, I've been all over the map. Coaches, schools, I've, I have quite a lot of experience. And the one thing I'm gonna say is, you need to have content on your website. You need to communicate with your audience on your own website. And you do that with landing pages and blog posts. So it's great to hire a social media manager. I am available for hire. You can find out my pricing at bridgewiller.com under my pricing table. But I can't work magic, right? So any kind of relationship, whether it's uh, business, personal, friendship, marriage, or with the customers, requires maintaining an open line of communication. It requires um, listening to what they're saying, feedback, um, and of course, when it's marketing for your business, your product or service should be top notch, okay? so. Um, it isn't really meant to be a frustrating experience, right? So in a marriage or relationship or whatever, if you communicate with each other, nine times out of 10, if you communicate well, if you have healthy communication, you have an enjoyable experience, right? Uh, if you have a bad, if you have trust issues and you fight a lot and then all of a sudden you have sex and all of a sudden everything's great. Well, it's not because 10 years later you're going to be in a counselor room probably getting a divorce because makeup sex is not a real thing. It's a diversionary tactic, right? It's not actually solving your communication issues. It's not solving the issue that she's upset because you didn't unload the dishwasher again and that you just decided where you're going out to eat without even asking her. Or, this is my favorite passive aggressive uh, tactic. When you give somebody a list of three places and you ask them to choose, but you give the best place, you bury it, right? So, or interrupting somebody, not listening to them when they talk, dismissing them, I mean, Back in the day, my husband and I did a lot of marriage counseling, and I've done a lot of counseling for people. And it's funny that now that I do social media marketing and business consulting, I end up doing a lot of counseling. You know, what are you doing? What are, What is happening with your business, right? And then what I hear is, well, social media doesn't work. You know, things just aren't working. Well, is it the social media? Or is it your website? Like if things aren't converting, is it your website or the social media? Or do you not know how to use social media? So there, the purpose of social media is to distribute the communication that's already happening on your website and to extend it, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna have posts and content 
with a clear call to action that makes sense, that show people, you know, what you have to offer and how they can get it. It shouldn't be confusing, right? So if people are, are on your website and then they don't do anything, is that really what you want? You, do you really want them to be super confused about what your products or services are? Because you're not being clear. Clear communication is one of the best ways to have a good relationship, right? So it's the same in a marriage. It's the same with your customers. What is it that you offer and how much does it cost? Let's not, you know, beat around the bush. Um, and then if you're asking your social media manager to bring you someplace and then you're not getting conversions, because I hear this a lot. It's not, I'm not calling out any one specific client or anybody in the past. This happens a lot. That's why I decided to do this video where they'll say, oh, social media doesn't work or we're not getting conversions on our website. Well, I say if I'm bringing the traffic or your social media person is bringing the traffic and your site isn't converting, then <laughs> there's something wrong with your communication to your customer, right? So <laughs> stop treating social media like, oh, if I post this flyer for my real estate group on Facebook, therefore I should be, my phone should be ringing. Um, I have a very good friend who thinks that he can hire me and that I, I will bring him 30 calls a day. That's never going to happen. I mean, I would, I would be happy if you got two calls a week from social media. Social media is not a first click lead, right? It's about brand awareness. It's about um, reminding people that you exist. It's nurturing. So social media is more like the dating that happens before the marriage, right? So you're wooing each other, you're being super sweet and coy, and you're sh both showing interest in one another. That's what social media is for, right? And you know, if you want to keep that flame alive now that you're married, then you keep that dating process. And nurturing, those are called nurturing campaigns. Um, sometimes they're an email uh, campaigns. Somebody's banging around the trashes. I sorry if you're hearing that and you're still with me over here. But like you can hire somebody like my friend Amy Hall. Uh, with MailChimp uh, expert and she can make you a drip campaign that nurtures them so nurturing is like keeping that spark alive and that kind of stuff marketers love to use terms that make you feel confused like KPI key performance indicators whatever okay so the ones that what matters in your business getting replies right <laughs> and then getting conversions so like the, all these like extra terms just to confuse you. It doesn't matter. Like you do want sales. Of course you want sales. Everybody wants sales, but sales don't happen like magic. I, I would literally be super surprised if anybody messaged me because this video and said, I want to hire you. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to explain how important it is that your website have the majority of your content that you communicate with your audience that way. So instead of uh, making a flyer for your event, how about posting a blog post on your website and then putting that link on Facebook or putting that link on Twitter or sharing a photo with the captions below it on Instagram. You, most of the time people are using their phones. We can't see those flyers on you know, like my 17 inch laptop, I'm for sure and I'm gonna see it on my iPhone 10. Okay? So, but it's it's control, it's laziness, I don't know. It's not thinking about it. You know, then you wonder why things don't convert. You can't just put up an event on Facebook and then expect people to show up. You have to invite people. You have to have cared. Okay? You know that saying where it says Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care, right? So if your husband cares about you, then you want to tell him about your day and everything. But if he's reading his paper on his phone or doing his emails, you don't bother to have those conversations, right? It's the same. Social media isn't a makeup thing. Social media is not makeup sex or 
whatever your love language is, a ring from Tiffany's, a new BMW, some quick fix to make you feel good. That's, that's not the point of it. The point of it is to nurture the, the customers, to nurture your potential customers, and to, and to elevate the brand awareness, right? For your business, keep those relationships alive because everybody does business with people that they, what? Know, like, and trust. It's never changed. It's never going to change. That's why networking events our thing and people go to chamber of commerces and pass out their business cards because they see that friendly neighborhood Minuteman press guy and they don't think of him as only a franchise they just think of him as the Minuteman press guy that I see at lead tip right and you keep thinking why does this guy have business he doesn't even have social media or whatever <laughs> but he does because he's with the people he's face to face with them social media is an is a supplement to the other kind of sales that you should be doing as a business, as a business owner. It's not the primary driver of sales. And if you're treating it that way, you're treating social media like makeup sex. If you have questions, feel free to disagree with me or add anything in the comments. Thank you, Patrick and Erica, for joining us live. And um, that's it. That's all I got. To, well, I got lots more to say. But this is all I got to say on this subject. <laughs> Bye, Facebook.